beloved scientist, Dr. Fauci, with all the logic and, you know, the cool-headed, logical guy of the group and the one who's opposed to Trump, but somehow is still on in there with Trump, not fired, right? Um, you know, he, uh, he and Bill Gates have manipulated the numbers and made them look way worse than they are. Um, while wow, the whole world shuts down over those numbers. Uh, because he actually even admits now or recently that it's about the same strength as the flu, as far as lethality goes. <laughs> Which is something that I didn't want to say because it's a sensitive issue and people are like, no, it's way worse than the flu and it's totally different. It is, it's a different strain for sure. It's got different symptoms, but as far as how lethal it is, how many people it's killing, it's about on par with the flu. Um, my opinion is in the end, it'll probably be worse than the flu, but not, not by orders of magnitude. It, some, but not, not 10 times or more. Like they said, 30 times, 34 times worse than the flu is what they originally estimated as far as lethal goes. They estimated the death rate was 3.4% when it's actually 0.1%, which is 34 times. So that's a slight offset, slightly inaccurate. So um, he's, uh, people are calling for his arrest. <laughs> And uh, I agree. In fact, I think there's no punishment large enough because his actions are going to cause millions of deaths. Um, him and Gates, they fooled the world and need to be held accountable. Um, and fortunately, the world is uh, caught on. There's a very large group of people and the media is starting to talk about it. He's no longer the uh, America's sweetheart that he was a week or two ago, uh, which is great. There's still MSNBC is still covering it like he's right and everybody else is wrong. The thing about MSNBC is Microsoft NBC, Bill Gates, Fauci and Bill Gates are together on this, vaccines, etc. So this is a huge conspiracy. Uh, with a lot of moving parts, but Fauci's right in the center. And in my opinion, so is Trump, because they work together to block vaccine, or sorry, block testing. So it seems like Trump supporters think that he's uh, um, not involved or that he's, you know, that he's a, a foe to Fauci, that, that he opposes him. And I imagine he will fire him. Um, just from popular demand. But the thing is, they've colluded with the testing. So Donald Trump has blocked Fauci from testifying before Congress. Excuse me. Got to drive. So, yeah, Fauci has blocked Donald Trump. I'm sorry. Trump has blocked Fauci from testifying before Congress. Now, why would he do that if he was innocent of being involved with Fauci doing things that he doesn't want Congress to hear about, like blocking testing to increase the numbers that look bad in order to probably sell vaccines, although I don't know about Trump's direct connections to any vaccines. Um, so I'm not saying for sure he's connected in that way because I just don't know. But there's got to be a reason that Fauci is still on the team because if you look who Trump surrounds himself with, Fauci is not, does not fit in. <laughs> he does not fit the mold. Um, so it, it's got another yet another divide between the left and right. Um, the left being uh, pro-Fauci, pro-MSNBC, and the right being anti so here we go again but at least it's not as very virulent as the divide about whether to go outside or wear a mask because that one 
had the potential for violence, but I think it's tapering off as people are starting to, they're lifting the, they're lifting all these uh, authoritarian measures, but slowly. California, Gavin said that uh, they're going, it's going to be days, not weeks. And I'm starting to get his voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyways, that's, that's what I got for the moment. I'm sure I have more, but I can't do it right now. Thank <laughs> you.